Hello everyone, it's Migs here again with another video tutorial and in today's video we look at creating a copy of your player profile in Euro Truck Simulator. If you play American Truck Simulator the process is the same, you can follow the instructions, it will do exactly the same thing. Why do we need to create a copy? Well, some people have their reasons. Uh, basically the main one is you want to go in a different direction of the game or you want to create an alternate profile where you can experiment on without affecting your main game without uh, having to affect the way the game plays by changing certain mods. Everyone has their own reasons, but the video is all about showing you how to get it done. It's quite simple and very easy to do. In a few simple steps, you'll have this done. So follow my instructions and without wasting any more time, let's get to it. Okay, so to copy a profile and make a duplicate, you're gonna need a couple of things. First thing you're gonna need is the SII decryptor program. Uh, which is this one yeah there's a link in the in the comments below you can get the download link from there and then you'll also need the text to hex code uh, decryptor and with that out of the way what we need to do is to open up the game right once you're in the game you have to go into your profile section okay that's the one we're looking for um, select which profile you want to make a copy of right open that profile up select it and then you go to edit profile Make sure that your use Steam Cloud is not checked. That's very important. Okay, so if it is, uncheck it and say apply. And once, you're in, once you've done that, we can continue into the game. Okay, so once you're in the game, all you need to do now is to save the, the, the game and get out of it. In my case, I'm just going to press Alt and F4 and that will instantly save the game and close it. Right, the game is now closed. And next thing to do is let's go into your documents folder where you keep your Euro truck. Okay, open that up right let's look for profiles and now you we're looking for the most recent folder okay what you can do if you don't know how to is go sort by date and then put it in a descending order right that will push your files to the most recent we'll push them right to the top in this case this is the file we just saved you go ahead now right click copy it and then anywhere in this white space right click and paste so basically making a copy there you go. Once you've got the copy formed, open that up and we need to get into this file over here, profile.sii. First thing you need to do is make sure that your SII decryptor is somewhere on your desktop. If, if it isn't, you can also just copy and paste it into your uh, profile uh, folder. Let's say copy, yeah. Doesn't matter where it is, as long as it's somewhere where you can have access to it. Left click and drag your profile SII into the decryptor. Once that's done, open it up in notepad and there you can see that's popped up you can see that the well that's a company name but the name of the profile will be right at the bottom so scroll all the way down to the bottom there you can see it profile name is vanilla okay what we need to do now is to change this name so let's call it i'm going to call my migs profile okay once you've done that ensure that there's no spaces if, they, if you need to use a space then you'll have to put in an underscore Okay, just remember that if you put in a, a space, just a plain space like that, it's not going to work. You need to put in an underscore or you've got to leave it as one word. Okay, so once you save the file, highlight the name again, say right click copy or control C. And now we're going to open up the text editor, right click and paste your name in there. Okay, and you'll see that the encoded string appears down at the bottom. So highlight that. Control C to copy, or you can just click on this icon here to copy it to clipboard. And you go back into your documents folder to where you'd made the copy. Open that up, highlight everything, and Control V to paste. So you've pasted in the string that was created from the hex editor, and that's the new name of your folder. Once you've done that, you're good to go to open the game again. Okay, now that we're back in the game, you can clearly see Mix Profile has been created. So if you open that up, you can see Mix Profile and there's my original one, Vanilla. You go into Mix Profile, you click Edit Profile. It's exactly the same icons as before, exactly the same name. This is where you can now change it and select whatever you want. I'm gonna just call it Mix Profile. In this one now, you can use spaces. And that's that. Okay, so let's say apply and you can go into the game and that's as simple as that. Keep in mind that you can do this to as many profiles as you like. You can basically copy and make duplicates of every single profile that you have in game 
and that gives you options on how you manage your game how you manage your mods and so on so we've come to the end of another video as always if you liked what you saw please hit that subscribe button and click on the alert so you can be the first one to know when new content has become available hit that like button and share it with your friends and with someone you think could benefit from this video any comments or requests you may have drop those in the comments below and i'll be sure to respond to every one of them i really hope you enjoyed this one and i'll catch you guys and girls on the next one